Well, he's got Kerry Farr in his corner. Kerry Farr knows the boxing game. In this video, I'm going to show you another four or five things that you can do at home to learn how to box at home right now. Okay, friends, in the last video, I showed you how to close your fist, how to stick your jab, your stance, the whole nine yards. In this video, I'm going to show you how to throw a one-two. Now, you already know your basic stance. And if you're in your stance, like we talked about in the first video in this series, is you have what's called a trigger step. That trigger step basically is the trigger. Your right foot is the trigger that pushes you forward with the jab. So I'm going to start every punch with that trigger step. So I'm going to step, there's my jab. So when I throw to one, two, I'm going to jab, right hand right over the top, okay? Jab, straight right hand, or right cross. Now, the way that you throw the right hand, the straight right hand, or the cross is, again, you start the movement from the rear foot. And I've got a picture of, in fact, I'll, I'll show it to you. It'll be on the screen here in just a second. Got a picture of Tommy Hearns fighting my guy, Ken the Bull Atkin, and he's throwing that right hand and he's pushing off of that rear foot. Notice in the picture right now, you'll see it on the screen. So you push with the right foot and you turn towards your opponent. You shift the weight from the right leg over to the left. So, boom, and you move your body from right to left as you throw that right hand. Ah. And that shifts all of the power into the right hand. So, jab, right hand, or one, two. The next punch that you can learn at home is the left hook. Now, I like the way that Joe Frazier threw the left hook because Joe Frazier would put his weight on the left foot or the forward foot or the forward thigh. Some guys throw it off the back foot. I don't think there's nearly as much power in that. So I like, and I always taught my guys to shift your weight a little bit to the left and just step forward ever so slightly when you throw the hook. All right, so you step, your weight's over here on this foot, and then you're going to come across with the left hook. Step in, boom, across. Some guys hold their left hand up and I've heard old boxing trainers teach that treat this arm like a matchstick and just break it off and lift the elbow as you throw the punch. And that's a very good way to throw the left hook. Personally, I still like to shift inside, keep my elbow right here, and throw the punch with the palm facing my body. And then I'll bend the wrist ever so slightly. Ah! and it gives me a whole lot of torque. But to throw the hook, you're gonna shift the weight over to the left side and then come back. And then as you throw the hook, you're gonna bring the weight back to the right side. So there's your one, two, there's your hook. The next punch I'll show you is the uppercut. And the uppercut basically is a punch that you never throw from the outside. If you try to throw an uppercut out from the outside, you'll get hit with a counter left hook right away. What you want to do is, this is a punch where you're in close, you're in fighting, and you're basically leaning inside. And again, the weight or the power comes from the foot. You push off that right foot and you come up like this with an uppercut. A lot of guys shoot it straight up. I always taught my guys to shoot it a little bit outward towards the opponent because if you do that, if it hits the chest or the neck, it will automatically bounce upward and hit the guy on the chin. So you throw the uppercut, boom, oh, all right, so there's your uppercut. Uppercut, the best punch to throw after that is the left hook. So uppercut, hook, right hand is a three shot combination. Jab, right hand, hook is a three shot cam combination. Double jab, right hand, left hook is a four shot combination. Jab, right hand, hook, right hand is another four shot combination. So take those things that I've just shown you today 
and work on them. We showed you how to throw a one-two, how to show, throw a, a right cross or a straight right hand, how to throw a left hook, how to throw an uppercut, and how to put them together in combinations. Work on those things. And in the next video, I'll show you some inexpensive equipment that you can buy uh, where you can train at home without, if there's no gym around, and I'll show you where I buy that stuff in America. It might be that you have to go to Amazon.com to get it, but I'll show you the stuff that you need at home, some inexpensive stuff to get you started. If you like what I'm teaching, please like the video, subscribe to our channel, share it with your friends, and I'll look forward to seeing you in this next video, video in this series, how to learn how to box at home.